today we are in Lutente. Lutente is found in Kalungu district. This project is part of over 600 sites that had been planned to be developed under the solar powered water supply and irrigation systems project. They are looking out for the impact on the communities that are within these areas of our supply. This is a really a great opportunity that has been granted to us to make sure that we can have production in and out of season. Getting such opportunities where we are being brought out to the world by the different uh, Natural Resource Committee members of the parliament, it is actually marketing us. This has been a very eye-opening experience, I'm sure for all of them plus us, because they get to see everything that we do and what it takes us to get to these stages. Hi, this is Jamila. I am a senior sociologist with Nexus Green Limited. We have a visit from the Natural Resource Committee of the Parliament of Uganda. They are here to supervise, to check on progress of the project, how far we have gone. What is the impact of this? The main purpose of the visit is to track progress of the project. They want to look at what has been done on ground. They are looking out for the impact on the communities that are within these areas of our supply. This project is part of over 600 sites that had been planned to be developed under the solar powered water supply and irrigation systems project. Back then we wrote to district local government and they sent us about five sites uh, which we went on to assess and after assessing they chose this site as one of the sites that were eligible for design. This farmer was already progressing and working with many communities, buyers, of takers and so on. So it has been a very good opportunity to be used as a, a center of learning, center of learning where farmer field school because he's willing to teach fellow farmers. Nenze Sonko Muhammad, Sinzira Wano, Lutente, Luka ya Town Council, na di mulimi nimenyanya ezo limo butunda buno. We have been working together for this site, we do have a water source. It's a swamp, a sustainable swamp. And then we have a submersible pump that we're using. Then it's powered by about 16 solar panels. Then we do have a transmission line from the source to a reservoir. This is a collection sump where we create an intake and we have our submersible pump. It is about three meters down because the dam is quite uh, deep. This pump pumps water from here to the other reservoirs. It is 40 cubic meters, that's about 40,000 liters. Then from which now water spreads to the farm. So we have a pump of 16.2 cubic meters here. In other words, it pumps 16,000 cubic meters per hour from here to the reservoir. The water here, uh, from the studies and the analysis, this water has never dried. So we can be sure we shall not have water shortages or something like that. We have to have Water 
a lot has been said by the landowner or the beneficiaries. They have increased on the acreage of uh, their production and uh, they are mainly the enterprise they are involved in is uh, passion fruit growing and tomatoes. We want to transform the Ugandan society, not transforming just a few individuals. Mm -hmm. eh? And that also touches on the fact that uh, you are able to irrigate only 12 acres of land. Mm -hmm. When will you irrigate the whole of Kalungu so that there is uh, a critical mass of people whose lives you are able to impact with this project? Nexus Green is uh, a company that provides solar solutions. Solar pumps, we have uh, inverters, we have solar panels. We are actually in the process of developing our own factory. This visit or inspection from uh, the Natural Resource Committee of the Parliament of Uganda uh, helps us as Nexus Green to focus. Uh, on the way we are supposed to be working. They've identified areas of challenges that we, have, that we shall have to address and this is a very good feedback to us as an EPC company. Our target is to do 10 and above acres. As government, there is the micro-scale irrigation project under UGIFT that is covering up to two and a half acres. So to uh, avoid crowding out and the different levels of investment scenarios, so that one is for the individual farmers and is now directly handled by the district local government. So it is direct funds transferred to the, government, to the local government as we try to look at these who can be moved into commercial agriculture. Getting such opportunities where we are being brought out to the world by the different uh, natural resource committee members of the parliament, it is actually marketing us to jump into the market of this country. And uh, we believe that with such visits, if uh, more is yet to be learned. This has been a very eye-opening experience, I'm sure for all of them plus us, because they get to see everything that we do and what it takes us to get to these stages. A piece of land is more than, uh, more than 15 acres, the other side. Okay. We have so in general land, coffee, almost covering the whole piece of land. This project, we have so much uh, hope in it that it will benefit to uplift the incomes of the parishioners of Chazanga Parish. Here, this side, we are beginning a personal food project here. Okay. Sometimes we use prisoners to come and laborers mm. at the farm. Uh, when they are plowing, if you are not serious, you may lose all the connections. You will have to hold them, but also even not prisoners. If a wage earner comes here in the land, cuts it, that way, Anna will bury the pipe because you, you, the, you the cost, you won't be able, you won't pay the wage and he, he will be losing out or she will be losing out. Mm -hmm. So you, you have to be very um, vigilant and you can roll them. We are trying to get better materials in the pipe that can be done. This area falls under Masaka Ankore Dry Corridor. So the area is always dry. We, have, we receive rains just for a short period of time and most of the uh, most of the times we receive dry season this is a really a great opportunity that has been granted to us to make sure that uh, we can really have production in and out of season enkole eno we boyongera ne bawanga banna balimi banange tujja kuba tusobola government ejja kuba yambye nnyo 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 olwensonga Okulima kuno kugenda mu sente nnyingi nnyo ensi ya chuko msana kati gwafu ka gwaka nnyo newe ene gabira ka abala bajja kusolo ku saving ira dala abantu abalima bine bintu ebinene ngeyo nge byange babera basobolo ku saving dala ku mafuta kubanga oboli manga toyina solar zino kitegezo bino kubanga okozesa mafuta okufukirira ebintu ebyo the activities have been positive uh, the farmers have been very interactive with us they have explained to the MPs what they are benefiting and i guess the MPs now see what this project will bring to the whole of Uganda i will appreciate this project that has been established in our parish to really empower farming process in our parish this scheme has an established committee, a water user committee, that is in charge of management, operation and maintenance. So how we maintain our panels, the committee was trained on how to routinely clean off the dust because once these panels have a lot of dust, they cannot attract enough 
radiation that helps with the pumping of water. My call to the government is to make sure that at least, because this is a kind of a demonstration farm, so we need to have more of this kind because not all of the parishioners and all the people in this area can benefit from this. So if there is any opportunity to, to put more projects of this kind in different areas so that even the, the rest of the members that don't benefit from this same project can also have the opportunity. From here we shall visit Mpumode in Rengo district as well as Bugo, Mitiebidi, we shall go to Chiruhura in Urutoma, we shall visit uh, Karuhama in Bara, and then also uh, Chamhunga in Bushenyi. 